All right, let's do a quick flicker test on the LED. And I'll be running it at 3.5 amps, which is the rated current of the LED. And the setup I'm using is a just a silicon solar panel I found in my junk bin. It's composed of four strips of a very thin silicon wafer. So I just made a makeshift stand over this old uh, plastic container. And it should look good with LED just shining on it like that. So after testing the 100 watt LED driver for Flickr, I found that the solar panel that I was using was way too noisy to to uh, quantify how much Flickr the LED driver is producing. Because the noise is so much that even when I turned on and off the LED, it, it didn't seem like it would change. It didn't change the amount of noise on the solar panel. And for the test setup, I just hook the probe right across the solar panel. That's what I've seen on another YouTube channel. On, I've seen that on Electron Update, which if you haven't seen Electron Update before, the YouTube channel, you should go check that out because he does a lot of very good LED reviews of consumer LEDs. In his videos, he actually uses a one it looked like from a calculator instead of like a silicon solar panel like I have here, which is just like a silicon uh, crystal structure. And maybe that has a difference on how much, how sensitive it is to ripple. Okay, so that just about wraps up this video. I think the results are that there isn't any significant ripple created from the LED driver. But that might be due to the amount of noise present on the solar panel and if I use one from a calculator, which is a different material, it might have turned out a clear reading. But judging on the amount of noise added to the ripple on the oscilloscope, it didn't seem like it added any significant amount of noise.